This is day number five of the COVID Chronicles. Five days ago, I found out officially that I have COVID. I got the paperwork to prove it. And this is the fifth day of having symptoms. So I want to talk about what symptoms I've experienced since yesterday as I'm going into day number five now. So yesterday, this became the new thing. I am down to 0% taste. 0%. Last night, what I ate for dinner could not taste whatsoever. I remember last night too, I made a, a smoothie. I was really looking forward to it because I don't really eat much sweet of anything anymore. But I had my cherry smoothie. I had cherries, banana in there, a little bit of coconut. I was really looking forward to it. And I could tell that it was cold, but I could not taste it. So yeah, just absolutely no taste left. And then also, the best way I can describe it, it's kind of like I have sunburn. It feels like I have sunburn. So like my back, it just, like any time at all I move my shirt, like I move my body, my shirt moves on my back, it hurts like it's sunburned. And it's starting to do that on my chest and my front side of my body now too. So just really sensitive skin. I don't know if taking a, a hot shower yesterday helped cause that or if my skin is drying out. It, my, sin is, my, sin, my skin is very sensitive. Uh, I definitely have noticed that. I think I picked the wrong day to use an actual razor to shave because it was only that much more. So yeah, sensitive skin, super, super sensitive, like overly sensitive skin to where I just, I don't really want to move. Like if, if I can just sit down, I'm fine. As far as the insomnia that I've been going through, last night was the, was the least of it. I was only up for 30 minutes last night. I got up as usual around 2 a.m. to use the bathroom and then that would be the part where I couldn't go to sleep. So I had some, a quarter cup of macadamia nuts to keep myself uh, in the fasting state uh, so that my blood sugar or my insulin wouldn't spike. I had some unsweetened seltzer water. And then I just uh, put on some like this sleep music or whatever on YouTube, like where it's live streaming. And it took me, uh, within about 30 minutes I was asleep and I slept till yeah, at least seven, 7.30. So that's, that's today. It's raining today, so I don't know about my plans for getting out and walking and getting some more vitamin D by walking like I did yesterday for an hour and 10 minutes. So that's, uh, that's what's going on. As far as overall feeling uh, of, of just my energy level, I guess I should say. Um, let me think here. I think my energy level is up a little bit. Whereas before it was like low energy, but not drowsy at all, I can't go to sleep, and mind is wide awake. Now it's mind is wide awake, overall energy is up, but I think I have more of an ability to sleep. Oh, I guess it wouldn't be one of these videos if I didn't grab my phone and go through the comments from yesterday, so. And for those of you who are regular viewers of my channel, Keep in mind, you can use these videos as opportunities to ask me questions that aren't the usual kind of questions that people ask, as we, you all know. People ask me the same stuff over and over that I've made videos for that already answers their questions. But if you, uh, if you have other questions about anything about me that you'd be curious to know, this is kind of a good Q&A session is the way I like to turn these in. So yesterday's, uh, yesterday's Chronicles number four only got 80 views. Not a whole lot of people watched it. But it's also, I'm doing these less than 24 hours apart now. They're more like 18 hours apart, um, just based on when I have a chance to do these. So yesterday I only got 80 views, five comments, seven thumbs up, and two thumbs down. So there's still people who, who don't like these videos. Uh, they don't want to hear someone be honest, saying they have COVID and, and what they're experiencing. I, th I feel like I'm serving the world. I'm uh, helping the world become a better place so they can have a preview of what COVID's really like aside from the news, aside from social media. So Josh Leak, hope you receive, hope you recover soon, Nick. Uh, Slugover said, absolutely buzzing that the living legend of hair loss addressed my theory. Uh, and then Andrew Moss, have you had the heating turned off in your house? You're well wrapped up. It was funny because yesterday I had, uh, oh, and then Kevin Murray, like the body warmer in Gillet you have on, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, I was pretty bundled up yesterday. But as I explained in the video, I had just got back from walking for an hour and 10 minutes. And it was funny because my, uh, my wife happened to see me. She was uh, 
she saw me what I was wearing and I explained, I said, well, yeah, I had a black sweater with a black vest to trap in heat on my core and then short shorts and, um, and, and then a hat. And it was like, I wanted to get as much sun as I could on as much skin as I could, but also trap in heat because it was like 40 degrees when I went out. So by the time I got back, I wasn't really cold, but it was just my way of dealing for that situation. When it's winter or, or late fall, how do you get as much sunlight as you can by going outside, but also not getting too cold? Uh, so for me, it was dressing that way. So that's why I was so, so I thought I had explained that initially in the video. So I guess I was unclear. That's why I was wearing that. No, I'm not cold in my house. Um, you know, I woke up today and here I am wearing this. It's, it's, it's normal, but I'm not, you know, too hot or too cold. My temperature is, is normal. Yeah, I guess that's something I haven't brought up is I don't have, I, to my knowledge, I don't have a, a temperature. So of all the symptoms you can have, let's kind of roll through the ones that I've had in these five days. Uh, so uh, lack of energy, uh, lack uh, now down to absolutely no taste at all. Uh, we could say somewhat of insomnia going on. Uh, let's see. Just the, uh, it's, it's just, yeah, the weird combination of having a brain that's wide awake and a body that's wide awake, but that has no energy. So it's just that that's weird in itself. And then having the overly sensitive skin. So yeah, like I said, moving forward. Cause I guess that's why I shaved with an actual razor yesterday. Cause I was just not shaving. But then like several days into it, it got to where it started looking nasty where it's just like, just all like, like I need to trim up. So like, let me just get a real razor that way I want to shave for later on. So I was doing it to avoid having to shave even more, but, and I didn't want to grow a beard, but man, just anything to do with my skin, I don't want to do it. It's funny because like the opposite of, I guess somebody on meth, right? Don't, I've heard that if you're on meth, that you like feel everything all over your body. And that's why people just like constantly touch themselves or whatever. But this is like the opposite of that. It's like, I don't want anything touch me. I don't even want my clothes touching me because I can totally feel my clothes. And it's funny, you don't, you take it for granted when you don't have COVID that you don't feel your clothes on your body. And more specifically, it doesn't feel uncomfortable to even have a cotton t-shirt on, on you as far as making you feel uncomfortable. So there's a Rolodex, there's a review of all of my, my symptoms. I think that's most of them. I'll go ahead and look forward to your comments and there's a good chance I will address them in tomorrow's COVID Chronicles. Thanks for watching. Comments are right here.